Hello again my carpy friends, back on the bank chasing these big carp again this time, no doubles this week hopefully, chasing the big girls again, I'm back down on the folly in Peterborough, uh, as you can see it's a proper sunny day, it's red hot, 26 degrees driving down, bit of a mare getting here, usual three hours plus, all the goddamn lorries, but all, all part of the fun they say don't they, but yeah, right I'll crack on. Like I say, back down on the folly in Peterborough, having to go for some biggins. I'm in the uh, swim called the Steps this time. I'll just show you the swim. I'll just quickly show you my spawn mix for this trip. A bit different than usual. No crumb this time. Pellets in that one, all different sized pellets with hemp. And all the, all the water that was boiled in, so they're all nice and soft, ready to go out. And then the other bucket, I've done the same with hemp again, boiled fresh at home. And stuck a load of boilies in, a load of Formula Red in different sizes, 12mm and 16mm. So I'm giving them a bit of a feast today, see if they fancy a feed. Fingers crossed, see how it goes. Right. Best crack on. Catch you in a bit. Looks absolutely stunning again. Can't beat it all when it's in full bloom like this. Family of geese on the other side, a couple of young ones. I've got two rods on the end of that island straight in front of us, just there under that canopy, and I've put one right under the overhang of the trees there so they're all fairly close together tons of options but those are known good spots from what I've been told by the members previously so I'll give them a go for the first night or so see how it goes I've put a fair bit of spam over the two rods obviously with there being two rods in the same area I thought I'd give them a good feed double my chance of catching one as well over the bait that spot hopefully with the two can't see him spooking off it. There's only, there's only a 12 mil wafter on one of the rods and a 12 mil pink pop up on the other rod. Raspberry Ripple RG baits. So gone stiff again this week. Sticking with those stiff but uh, hook links again. Fluorocarbon in the coated one. Nice and stiff. Hopefully trip these big girls up. So fingers crossed, we'll see how it goes. Rods are all out. Got one over there. Got a couple down here. Usual spawn rod. Camp's not up yet. But I'm going to put the bivvy under that tree there where all my gear is. Because like I say, it's proper hot. Really warm. So, fingers crossed. I'll see how it goes later on. Off for a spot of lunch and I'll speak to you all again soon. Cheers for now. Cheers. Hello again everyone. Cracking day still. Nothing to report on the fish in front I'm afraid. Time for tea. So I've gone for the healthy option again. This time I've got myself a spicy chicken and mango salad. Looking forward to giving that a go. Just sound nice. Followed by a nice strawberry yogurt and of course a cracking cup of tea to wash it all down. That's all I got to report really. All quiet. No, that was there, like. All quiet. Um not seen any fish yet. Odd one cruising about, but not showing any interest in any sort of any float result with that I've had out. Even the birds aren't bothering much today with the floaters. They're just all going down the far end of the lake on the wind. But we'll keep plugging away. 
you, like you say, you just never know when. Just look the bollocks out there, like I must admit, still looks really good. Like I say, rods are all on the spots. Spawns over two rods. One's fishing the single under a tree on the island, so all fingers are crossed again. See what tonight brings. Like I say, if you have any luck, I'll get back to you. If not, I'll see you all again in the morning. I'm going to go and sit down by the rods for a couple of hours tonight. Hopefully watch the sun go down. About as good as it gets, isn't it? A cracking day like this. Absolutely spot on. Love it. Right, okay then. I'll leave you to it. Go and get me tea. Speak to you all soon now. Cheers. Well, here's my view for the day. Can't knock that, can you? Another glorious sunny day. And I've got a little friend that keeps coming to visit me. My mate, the little duck. Trying to find any bits of hemp or pellets that I've dropped in. I give him the odd bit of, bit of boiling now and again. There he is. Having a little mooch about, see what's on the floor. Before the rats come out tonight. So there we are. Fingers crossed as usual. Worth one of them rods to rip off. Very good you a whacker. Absolutely love one. Don't care which one goes. Left one, middle one or the right. Just one. Just please fly off. Absolute screaming one toner. Oh, even the duck's gone. See you later, fella. Okay then. Leave you for now. Catch up with you later. Cheers now. Bye. Hi everyone. Just sat there by the lake. Down by the rods. Last of the sun going down. What a cracking evening. Some people love the football. Some people need to go to church. Some people have to go to the pub all the time. But for me, you just can't beat this. Especially on a night like this. Absolutely spot on. Nice cup of tea. Little packet of forest fruit biscuits. Doesn't get much better than that. All we need now is a one toner, one of these rods, and then it'll be happy days. Proper happy days. But as it is now, loving it. Absolutely loving it. People wonder why you go fishing. It's a no brainer for me. Well, good morning again, my carpy friends. Nothing to report this morning, I'm afraid. No carp were caught during the night. A uh, bit of an occurrence about four o'clock. Had a few beeps, so I got up, came down by the rods, stood looking out over the water. All the steam coming off the water looked absolutely class, all the mist coming off the water. A few fish shown further down to my right. And then the left hand rod under the tree on the island gave about a three inch drop back so I wound down stuck into that nothing there tried to recast it recast it two or three times falling short all the time so I thought I'd give it a quick punch yep you guessed it straight in the tree not to worry I pulled for a break and got it all back so rechucked that one back out again and then within about 15 minutes it just turned into an absolute pea super. Didn't have change. It was like it was raining, it was that thick this big in mist and fog and stuff that came across. Still looks good now. Still see the mist coming off the water now. I'll spin you around and show you. See if the camera picks it up. Yep. 
wind directions change slightly as well that's coming more straight towards me now rather than from right to left not sure if you can make out the steam coming off the water or not Still looks bang on for a bite though. And we're still in bite time as well. Still only fairly early. Here's my old mate coming back. Old Daffy Ducks here again. Come to see if there's any freebies going. Really uh, tame, really, really tame. Right, that's it, people. I'm going to go back to my little house. Oh, scary ones again, Marshy. Get it back, that's better. Off for some breakfast and have some porridge again, usual. Loads of strawberries and blueberries with it. Bit of honey and a nice cup of tea. So I'll catch you all again soon. Cheers for now then. Bye, bye. Hello again, everyone. Just a quick update of what's happening. I've my breakfast, so I'm all set up for the day. But clean the old teeth and stuff out of wash, so all nice and fresh ready to go. Still all quite out in the lake. Odd one shown on the far bank, but only the odd one. Didn't look that big either, to be fair, must admit. Sun's firmly out now. Looks like it's going to be another scorcher today. Heard a few fish early doors this morning between four and five o'clock down my right hand margin just down this side here so I think I'm going to go up the car grab my chesties have a little wade along quick lead about with the rod see if I find any clear spots I might put one down there for tonight like I say there's probably been three or four rolls this morning on it one of them sound like it's half decent to fish as well so I'm going to go and investigate that spot now and get a rod down there, just down this right hand side here. As you can see there's quite a bit of overhanging foliage so I'll have to be careful. Like I said, I'll put the chesties on, have a little weight weight out, quick lead about, try and find the spot. And I'll put a rig and some bait on that and leave that there for tonight. See if anything occurs early hours of the morning, like I say, they were shown there this morning. So, right, okay, then I'll leave it for now. Quick view of the lake, pop to the car, grab my chesties, jobs are good, and see what the day brings. Okay, then, catch you all again soon. Cheers now. Hello again, my carpy friends. Still nothing to report on the carp front. I've had to take refuge in the bivvy because it's absolutely scorching hot out there, so time for a spot of lunch. And today's delights are a protein pot again from Lidl. And this one's egg and spinach, which as the name suggests, is basically two hard boiled eggs and some spinach leaves that will be followed by a nice low fat strawberry rice and the usual obligatory as always <coughs> cup of tea from the catching big chasing big carp kettle Right then, I love you and leave you. I'm going to go and devour this bit of dinner. And I'll get back to you all soon. Fishy front's not looking too good, I must admit, but you just never know, do we, in this game. Could go off at any time. The old fingers are still firmly crossed as usual, so we'll see how it goes. If not, it's still nice to be here. Cracking day for it. Beats going to work, doesn't it? Right, okay then peeps, speak to you all again soon, cheers for now, bye, bye. Decided to bring the rods in, 
give the swim a rest absolutely scorching 28 degrees so I'll have a little walk about gonna have a mooch in our little corners under the trees see if I can find anything won't do any harm bringing them lines in for a couple of hours okay catch you all again soon hello again everybody you meet some strange people on the bank and you meet some good people as well he's one of the good guys carp and vlogger himself Mr Leon Bartrop and of course the carpy dog <laughs> Hey Hi guys. Leon. Hi Les, how you doing? Sound mate yourself? Yeah, not too bad. Trying mm -hmm. to catch one as usual. Yeah, we always do, don't we? Yeah. Where's the carp? You felt the there old carp is. dog. Uh, there he is, looking good. The old carp dog. <laughs> Everyone's favourite. Yeah, definitely, yeah. What's biscuit of the week this week, Leon? Biscuit of the week, yeah. Biscuit <laughs> of the week is for him this week. Bonio. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dog, dog food, I'll be eating them yeah, soon. Yeah, nice I'm putting on so much weight with a biscuit of the week. It's yeah, crazy. I have noticed, like I must admit, but you never know. <laughs> Keep at it, mate. <laughs> Yes. Try some nice low fat stuff. Yeah, lake's looking nice though. It is, it's just, just absolutely need, bang on, doesn't it, mate? Just need perfect. the fish to. Uh, Looks absolutely perfect. Just need the fish to play admit. ball, really. Wind's blowing down your end as well, spot on, mate. Yeah. Fingers crossed for tonight, eh? Yeah, let's hope, hopefully we all catch one. Our last night tonight. Yeah, give it a go, can't we? What about you, Carpy Dog? Yeah, they'd be wanting to eat well, something, either. You've got to say. Not a lot. Sausages. <laughs> <laughs> Right, nice one mate. Yeah, no worries. Thanks very much for that. Good to see you, Les. We'll have a catch up soon, bud. Cheers, mate. Thanks a lot, Leon. Well, that was a good surprise. Meeting Leon the legend on the bank. Really enjoyed that. Had a good chat with him about everything YouTube and fishing, of course. And of course, the old dogs, the old carp dogs. Great stuff. Really enjoyed that. Crack and chat. Top lad. Thanks very much for your time, Leon. Much appreciated. Nice one, fella. Hopefully see you again soon, bud. Cheers now. Try for now. Hello again, everyone. Well, I really enjoyed that chat with Leon. Great stuff. Meeting the carp dog, of course. He's the main star of the show. So it's tea time. And today's treat is the old focaccia bread. Goat's cheese, as you know, nice garlicky bread, sun ripened tomatoes, all wrapped up in the bridge monkey. And just follow that, I've got a leftover from the uh, part of my Father's Day present PhD Smart Bar, which is a high protein, low sugar bar, 20 grams of protein in this bad boy, chocolate peanut butter, relatively low calories as well, considering peanut butter 20 grams of protein can't fault that just keep us going for a while so I'll sign off for now just turn this kettle off because it's boiling away sign off for now I'll catch you all later hopefully you might have something to report if not I'll see you in the, all in again in the morning for the final rundown to see what's happened during the night if anything okay then Good morning my carpy friends, nothing to report I'm afraid on the carpy front again, not to worry, can't win them all can we, but the sun's coming out, not a bad morning, this morning was quite busy really to be honest, I've been up since two, I've had liners on the middle rod, that's the one with all the bait over, liners between two and five this morning just kept up and down, up and down all night, Alarm going off all the time, kept flying out the bivvy, hoping it was a take at last, but no, it wasn't to be, I'm afraid. So I'm going to have a slow pack down, get back on that road again. Time for a bit of breakfast, then that's me about done. So I'll have to catch you next time. But to be fair, it's been a good trip. I really enjoyed it. Weather's been spot on. Met Mr. Bartrop and the Carpy Dog, so that was a bonus. Had a good evening last night with my old mate Mark Hogg, who I haven't seen for probably nine, ten years. Last time I fished down on Bluebell, so that was a good catch up and a good, nice bit of crack. So, all's left now, like you say, have some breakfast, pack all the gear away. Lad coming in after me, so I'll get packed down as soon as I can. 
breakfast time like I say got the old porridge pots can't beat a bit of porridge on a morning not that I can see it like it's there somewhere there we are there's the old porridge pot the old chasing big calf kettles about to boil so I was looking good I've got my usual strawberries and blueberries to go in my, in my porridge pot make it a bit more wholesome So that's about it really, that's all I've got to say for this one I think. Next trip hopefully I'll be, I'll be back on Deepins again, De Deepins 1. That opens again uh, five or six days time so I'll be calling in there as soon as I can for a, a two or three nighter. Give that a go, they've had like a month off so fingers crossed they'll be up for a feed. Depending how busy it is of course and stuff so see how that goes. So. The old kettle's starting to boil. If you haven't already, could you please subscribe? Much appreciated. And hopefully, I'll catch you on the bank shortly. Like I say, I'll be back on Deepens 1 then. Chasing them big carp again. So fingers crossed we'll have something then. Thanks for watching now. And I'll catch you all again soon. Cheers now. Bye for now. Bye.